Hi friends, I'm D Vegan. Today is my gentle juice fasting day. I do that once a week and it's a great source of happiness because I cleanse and got used to it already through the years and now it's just a pure joy. I don't have to drink a lot of water and other beverages to feel great but drink a little bit too little can have some headaches or pressure or so yeah but drinking a lot is the, to me now at this state perfect I have four liters of beverages it can be water juices coffee tea whatever um, also broth vegetable broth that's all wonderful I make a lot of drinks here today and that's nice it's also easy in the kitchen you know I don't have to cook um, that's very simple I just make these juices or some broth or so and that's fun. Or plant milks also can be nice. So it's just reducing calories and putting the digestion at rest. And when the digestion rests, the metabolism, how I process energy, that body, uh, changes. And um, the way that happens, it's a chemical process, it's pretty interesting and complicated. Basically, the cleansing process. It's a cleansing process from the, from the, from the, the, the toxins the body itself produces in general and normally in every day but when you sleep you also do the same thing the brain um, removes the toxins from the body that's why we need to sleep deep for a long time every day the fasting does the same thing uh, of course on a longer time for a day or so it begins with a day basically I'm not talking about intermittent fasting now there are debates about that but it doesn't matter now so it's a cleansing and the cleansing makes me pure and also my senses get more alert, I feel the flavors better, how the ingredients play together. For me and the chef, that's interesting, of course. I make um, carrot juice today, a classic. When you begin juicing, you can also begin with the carrot juice. This is very simple. It goes through all juicers, the carrots, tastes delicious, no matter what. <laughs> and if you want to have it even more delicious, you put an orange into it. Classical orange carrot juice, they have it. I have, have have made this for 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 as long as I can think, and even longer. Uh, for example, in these um, um, uh, fast food shops from Arab countries here in Berlin, for example, they they always sold these carrot orange juices when you buy a falafel or so, and you can always get a fresh orange carrot juice, a carrot juice, orange juice, whatever you want. They do that fresh. That's part of the culture, it seems. So uh, this is a classic, and uh, today I add mint. Uh, this is a special summer herb. Yeah? It's one of the, the mint family. The, this, this herb, the mint, gives the whole family of herbs the name. The mint family is from the Mediterranean. I've been cultivated for thousands of years, like basil, oregano, thyme. Um, there's so many, yeah? um, and they have all different um, benefits. A mint is a cooling one. So in, in, in Morocco, I was once, the people always have big bags of mint leaves and sugar, and they make a tea, a mint tea with sugar, and the heat uh, in this, it's really enduring heat there in the, in the desert, and they all do that. Um, I've seen that. It's really nice, and they drink a mint tea, and it's cooling. It's really a strong cooling effect. And so I'll try that today, together with lemon and ginger, here, I have some lemon and ginger, a large lemon and three inches of ginger or so. And that enhances the flavors of the ingredients always in a nice way. Uh, so let's see what happens when I make this juice now. I come back in a moment. That's a liter juice, orange carrot juice with mint flavor. I didn't test it so far, I didn't try it. I do that now, but it looks beautiful. It's a nice orange color. It's a little bit creamy from the orange, just a little bit, but it's a nice juice. Um, so let's taste it. Yeah. I'm very optimistic. Mm. Oh, that's nice. Mm -hmm. There's a nice mint flavor in there, the mint touch. You might want to put more into it even. It's very delicious. Didn't know how it was um, fitting together, mint and orange, but why wouldn't it? 
It's a orange is also a juice that you drink in hot seasons, an orange juice, and mint is the same. So could be fitting it. Yes, it's very nice. It's not, not so easy to describe what that flavor is like, but you got to taste it. It's really, really nice. And an orange juice with a mint touch, fresh mint note, that will be very refreshing, I guess. Maybe you could put some ice cubes into the large holiday. It's a wonderful drink. But for me, it's a fasting day and I enjoy these drinks. It's a liter. I drink it slowly because if you drink it fast, as the digestion rests, it goes directly to the bloodstream without digestion. And then the blood sugar, as they say, spikes, so or shoots up, and that can cause some health issues. Uh, so it's so nice. Um, to avoid that, uh, on a fasting day, I have to remember drinking the juices with the high nutrient content, high sugar, drink it slowly. Then the body can handle it easily. The blood sugar does not spike because what fiber does, yeah, what I take out of the, the vegetables and the, and, the, and, the, uh, and the the fruit, the fiber, that's what, you, what rests here remains from the juicing. And that is exactly what moderates the intrigue of nutrients. I take that out of the of the food because I want the digestion to rest. That's what the digestion works on mainly, the fiber. Yeah. And it's just very important for the intestines that they have a good fiber for that. That's why the whole food plant-based diet is so healthy, is considered healthy. We have to eat the whole plant as possible. Now, something you can't eat from a plant because you don't want to eat that, but that's considered whole food. All you can eat from a plant that should be eaten. And then it's healthy. Yeah. And so on a fasting day, everything is upside down a little bit. So it's a more cleansing process, a process to where, where I step back, um, take, a, take a look at myself on the inside, and the mind and the, and the body uh, gets an you know, upgrade, so to say. <laughs> yeah, that's so much fun. And what, what's, what can be nice then doing it with these wonderful juices that are such a joy, such a pleasure. Uh, yeah. So, uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy. If you like, like my video, subscribe to MDV on YouTube. Have another recipe every single day. And find me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter. And there is a Facebook page too that's called Tree Yoga Moon Fasting. Tree Yoga is from Yogini Kaliji, the founder. And she also talked about the gentle juice fasting, the Tree Yoga Moon Fasting. And that's why I called it that way. Um, because it's the, it's the non violent way of of fasting, the non-violent way of life, the true yoga lifestyle, the non-violent lifestyle, that's all one and she has made that very popular um, and also in the yoga field she was one of the first ones who propagated about non-violence non um, in yoga but of course basically non-violence is a yoga thing, it's in yoga sutras, it's the first um, um, ethical rule, yeah, <laughs> be compassionate um, non-violently, yeah that, that's the, the main thing. And um, why that wasn't widespread in yoga, I have no idea. <laughs> but since she came, uh, that has changed a lot. And, um, um, and this fasting is also non violent It's a flow. We fast in the flow. That, ha that means we don't push ourselves. We do it um, gentle. Thanks again for watching. I hope to see you soon.